Look who walked in, Mike Buschetti walked hey, in. Hey, Mike, how Ooh, are hi, you? Mike. Man. Mike, and, and Mike, That's of Slim course. Buschetti. Yeah, Mike, we, we have a whole segment with Dennis and Mike coming up. Uh, absolutely. Yay. And we're going to see if uh, Dennis can work some of his magic on Mike Buschetti. But again, the name of the book is The Art of the Pimp, A Love Story, One Man's Search for Love, Sex, and Money. The P.T. Barnum of Booty, baby. <laughs> Dennis Hoff, I love him. And Chrissy Summers, thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, you can hang out for a few more minutes, right? Oh, absolutely. We're, we're going to take a break. Come back. And uh, Gina Bisconti's here. We're going to get everybody a microphone. And uh, we're going to find out why... Uh, Dennis and Bochetti are, uh, <laughs> are connected this last week. It's a very interesting story. <laughs> Back after I love you know, it. Test, test, testing. One, two, one, two. Test, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're back, right? Are we back? Yeah, we're back with the Artie Quitter. What fun. This is, I love this place. <laughs> it is a fun. It's a fun time. Well, we're here. Dennis Hoff from the Bunny Ranch got a new book out. The Art of the Pimp, a love story, one man's search for love, sex, and money. The P.T. Barnum of booty, baby. <laughs> Dennis Hoff and, of course, Chrissy Summers. What's up, man? And that was Bob Zamuda who wrote the foreword. Bob Zamuda wrote the foreword. Legendary comedy And he's, guy. he's the guy that coined that phrase, the P.T. Barnum of booty. But I, I'll tell you what Bob did on a serious note in the foreword, which I love. He's, he's, he explains it. He says, it was Kinsey, Masters and Johnson, yeah. Hefner, and Hoff. Yeah. We've changed sexual attitudes in America. In a, well, in I a know good it. way. Yep. <laughs> in a real good way, I'll tell yep. you that. Uh, all right, so Mike Buschetti's here. Mike, say hi to the gang. Hi, guys. Thank you very much for having me on here. How hi, you guys Mike. Doing? Hi. Dennis, do you, do you ever, uh, let me confirm this for you, do you ever hire someone you call a tester for the girls? Yes. <clears throat> what happened and is... Explain what a tester okay. is. So the, the, what we do for 23 years, we want our product tested. Right. I, I, you know, it's, it's no different than being a secret a, a foodie where you go in and, and test the food right. in the atmosphere. <laughs> we want somebody to come in and we want them to just see it. What was that first experience like, the door horror? It's so the serious. The door, right? <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 how was the bar? Did they serve it the proper glass? Right, right, they give right. you the proper amount of liquor. Little things like that can sour people. When you went to the room did, did, did the, with the girl, did she treat you like she was an usher in a theater? Come on, step this way. Or did, right. was she holding your arms and your hands right. and, and being like a girlfriend would be? When you got to the room, was it clean? Did it smell nice? Okay. Was, was she was was she listening to Fifty Cent? Put a cap in your ass, my dog. I kind of want that. That yeah. I, I do want. I would I would ask for that. <laughs> Everyone's and different. And we'll give that oh, to yeah, you. Yeah. Everyone's different. Sure. Because we we want easy listening music. Okay, in the room. Uh, did did is, is uh, did you put porn on? Because we I want porn playing. I like having sex to the car. I like getting a blumpkin to the carpenter. A blumpkin. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> to the carpenter. That's funny. I hope everybody got that. That's hilarious. <laughs> To the fuck carpenters. <laughs> so so anyway, we, we just want to make sure our, our, our quality is right. Sure. Did, did she know all the positions that you wanted? To right. do? How many positions does she know? And because girls look at like Chrissy was one guy one time. She didn't know a lot. Yes. Right. I on learned the job fast, training. Dennis. Because <laughs> I taught you, I was your trainer. I was right. a very quick learner. And and so all that. So I told the uh, the, the the New York um, Daily News came to me. Right. And so they're so smart. They took this article. And, and they held it until April 1st because they wanted people to wonder whether it was an April Fool joke. Ah, nice. In okay. fact, O'Reilly talked about it last night. Mm -hmm. Fox News had a board about different hoaxes uh, yesterday. Everybody's talking about this. So it's out there. We are hiring testers. It's a great job. So it's job. a real thing so te to test out the women and the experience, you know, with everyone being, with everyone being consent. And they consensual. give everybody pie. Well, but they don't know who it is. <laughs> it's a secret. You come in there as a customer. Right. We pay you We pay you to do a job. The tester gets paid, but and, you're And right. then they sit, they, Chrissy uh, interviewed six people yesterday in New York. Uh, she's looking for, for certain things. What, what, are, what are you? What are we looking for? Okay, number one, you have to be polite first of all to okay, the girl. Okay. Great hygiene's a must. No one even wants somebody that smells bad. All right. And then obviously somebody that's experienced. You can't go in there like not knowing what you're doing. Okay. Because so you're obviously testing the girl, so you have to know can't a few know things. Two positions. Okay. So all that being said, yes. here's here's an email that gets brought to my attention. Okay. <laughs> From Mike Boschetti. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies and ladies. <laughs> only oh. my birth. Only my. And listen, first of all, the grammar. Only my birthday is a week away. Only your birthday. There's a lot of things that are a week away. <laughs> your but English I'm, teacher is a week away from killing yourself. No, next Thursday is a week away. 
<laughs> Only my birthday is a week away. Uh, from who wants to take me out for some outstanding fun for my birthday? <laughs> Mike has a button on his word processor called shuffle. A makeout session. A makeout session. It's optional. Always ladies' choice, or maybe just take me out of the friend zone. Do me for the... But they don't even know you. How are you in the friend zone? Well, I have a lot of women in the friend zone, but I got to get out of that zone. It's okay, so, so that, already accepted that's Mike smoothness. That's Friends who may I strangle me zone. That's Mike smoothness. But here's, here's the one that Dennis got from Mike. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dennis. How are you? I was the announcer in the Artie Lang show mm -hmm. in direct <laughs> TV. Do you have an O in your... In or o. Mike still thinks Sorry. he's inside the TV yeah. when he's watching. How the hell did I ever yeah. get out of there? I was the announcer in the Artie Lang show in direct TV for two years. Seen your job for all one sentence by the way. Seen not senior yeah, seen your job for testers for the <laughs> ranch. I have lost a lot if weight. Gotten super healthy. Went from a four X to A B D XL shirt. Have lots stamina. Have lots stamina. And lots of personality. Ooh. Plus, I love and respect womankind. One word, womankind. That's a plus. Right a there. lot more than the average guy it, being raised by a single mom. Plus, I love to have fun. My email is, and then he gives the email. Thank you so much, Dan and Mike. Okay, Mike, so you want to be a test? Yeah, I'm, I, I love women more than anything. They're okay, now, Mike. Do you first love women or womankind? First of all, you have bad hygiene. So the, you, No, no, you, no. You, no. you smell like privilege. No, I would have wore a suit today, but I, last time you guys were like, forget it. Do you, Chrissy, if do you a, if smell guy, good or do you smell like dirty socks? He smells like a hard cut Romano cheese. Mm. Oh, no. No, I, no. Like no, no, no. I, I mean, like I really cheese. like Romano mm. cheese, but not that much, okay? <laughs> and then experience. Mike, you've been. Uh, you've I know been what with sex is, women. believe me. I, you I, haven't had sex in 25 years. Uh, I know what sex is, and I'm pretty well at it. I know. Everyone <laughs> I'm pretty it. well at it. That's, that's goodly to know, Mike. When's the last time you had sex? I don't like to kiss and tell. You know what I mean? This is, it was you know, 1982. No, that was before I was born. Now, Mike, a nice heartfelt, although grammatically terrible, would you consider Mike as a test? Well, I'd, I'd like to. Chrissy, why don't you interview him a little? Let, let's see. Perfect. What, what's yeah, your, Chrissy, what's your, what's your, I, interview I, Mike. I'm going to give you a list of a few sexual positions, and you can tell me what they are, and I'll okay. let you know if you're right. Describe what the G-spot jiggy is. The G-spot jiggy is that's a hard thing for a lot of guys, trying to find that spot. That'll get and a woman how, how would you describe that position, though? Just, uh, just trying to get a woman off is going I think, to I think the spot that gets most women off is you standing as far away as possible. <laughs> I want you to. I want you to kind of show me what it is. Well, maybe, 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 why don't you describe? Uh, well, it's radio, though. Well, so we, get, we, we lost on that. Okay. I feel like we're playing Hollywood Squares, and I this should say the, disagree. Okay, so Circle Mike, gets this, the square. This is what you need to do. You need to go on your knees, <laughs> on your knees, and your butt. Mike, this up. is a job as a tester. Try to do that. And then you need to like put the girl's butt right on you, like that way, so she's like backwards. Like, oh, I love that. I, what about the thing called the wheelbarrow? <laughs> Dennis now, is that, obsessed that's good. with that. I didn't think you'd get there. Dennis is obsessed with that. What about this, Mike? What about the peace sign? Do you know what the peace sign is? <laughs> peace? Oh, that's well, good uh, the peace sign is you're eating, eating some vagina. No, Ooh. no. Well, it's, oh, it's, it's a Y. Wow. I'm sorry. It's receiving partner on bottom, legs tightly closed. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of things changing. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that we gotta, we, exactly, they have yes, to know this. sex is the Reagan administration. No, 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 no. <laughs> Keep going, guys. I got this. Okay, what's the next one, Chrissy? What's what's the hot rod? <laughs> Whoa, that sounds like a good... Uh, it's, uh, it might be... Oh, she's jumping up and down in your banana and you don't want to... Your he, banana? Did he say banana? <laughs> banana. Did he say ba banana? First of all, Mike, where's the podcast? So you can okay, she's day. jumping down on your cock. Banana. And you, and you, <laughs> your banana. I, ho I hope nobody's right, different. Right, you got to say banana, banana with Chris banana? here. You're going to drive him crazy. Jesus Christ. All right, Mike. Let's, let's try this. Mike, this, this you are turning important. me on right now. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> this, is, this one's important. Dirty Sanchez. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, okay. Janet. Oh, God, Janet. That's a pretty yeah. bad one. That's like... That's like having shit on your on your mustache. That's what it really well, is. Well, what is it? it? I think it comes from eating butt and you get the shit on your mustache. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You guys just took this to a whole new level. <laughs> I mean, the, the Mike, like, like as Woody Allen says, don't you think Mike looks like some something you might find in a live bait shop? <laughs> no, no. Look at this. I, I did lose weight. Right, here, how, I, I did. I swear to God. The uh, the yawning position, and and you can't go to sleep with this one. The yawning position. Yawning position. Mike. Yawning. Let me figure this out in my head here right now. Hold on a okay. second. Uh, 
It's what people do when they hear your comedy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not really sure. And they also yell fuck at the top of their lungs. <laughs> no, but I probably know these things the minute I see them. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not by yeah, words. Like, you're ruined. This is the worst interview you've had. She's probably ever been through. <laughs> no, but it's, you, a, it's receiving partner's legs straight up. Wide apart. Well, okay, let's, let's make this easier for you. What are list a few ways that you could please a girl, and I want more than well, one way. The okay, uh, the first of all, you know, yeah, and I'll tell you. Okay, first chloroform. <laughs> chloroform. No, do you no. know that's your tactic? That's some on, Casey buddy, but, uh, Anthony works. stuff right there. Okay, first let's start with some uh, playing with tits to begin with. Start. Okay, well, how would you, I want oh. details. How would you play with her that's tits? So gross. <laughs> that's so gross. That's so gross. She wants details. He gender. makes it sound like he brings a pair of tits with him and you plays with them in front of her. What First thing starts with playing with tits. What Your, exactly yours or hers, you Mike? With <laughs> what exactly would, would you do? Well, it actually, starts with playing with tits. Yeah, I'm going to play with my tits, and this is what I'm going to do to yours, but pay attention, Mike, Angel. Let me make it easy. There's a few let's, ways let's that start, make it good. Let's but. start with positions. Positions, you know. Uh, forget missionary. Forget cowgirl. Oh, right. Forget reverse cowgirl. Okay, now go. What do you know? Uh, Dennis, I like the wheelbarrow, I call it. Lifting a girl up. He's stuck on the wheelbarrow. Yeah, back, yeah. <laughs> back of the legs and just doing it from behind. Well, how about you? you Mike's in the missionary <laughs> position, and the girl's in the throwing up position. <laughs> <laughs> They call that the porcelain. <laughs> like, why would you send this? Are you are you serious with this? Yes, I am, because uh, uh, womankind rocks, man. I'm, I bet you I'm a great catch. With women kind? No, why uh, do you say women kind? What's your well, because well, I'm nice about it. You Mike, know, so you don't know much about it. You just said play with tits. <laughs> no. I, I want to know the details of, because I like mine played with, but I've had one of Dennis's girls not know how to play with them, and it kind of hurt me. So, what? Yeah. yeah. Do you think she's gentle? Nice? Yeah. Look no, at, I am. Look I at am. your tits, Mike. Look at the size of your breasts. They're not that big. Believe me. They are. They're really like since you lost that weight, you have a, a D cup. No, I, 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 as in delicious, <laughs> Mike. No, but, delicious. No. Yeah. But where where no, are but you? If you where caress you? a woman first like that and just <laughs> she caress. Got, Mike, where are you on your cunnilingus kind of <laughs> skills? Are you a pussy eater? Yeah. Oh yes, that's okay, the best no, thing. So besides, let's talk about how you do it. You're not one of those guys that like drool all over so like spits no. drooling down you, oh that's gross what do you think <laughs> no 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 that's no no so gross are you holding a sandwich when you get out no, there no oh. do you know i'm not i'm not eating fucking italian bread like you are on the way out okay so don't break my right, balls fine. too much but mike you've you've said you don't eat you haven't no. heard of these modern positions no but listen to me right you, you, you're not experienced no i am because listen you to have me, bad I, hygiene no i don't have bad hygiene you smell like romano cheese apparently according to Artie. So. a hard cut shaved romano yeah, yeah but not a very <laughs> sharp one no but, <laughs> but listen to me right it's thought you, you test the woman out see how sensitive she is first well, what do you how do you do that how do you know if she's sensitive Use a chair. She'll, she'll let you know you know how I mean? will she let you know she'll fucking be in agony <laughs> agony you don't want a girl that's in agony no, no, now, no, he's no. Not, and now he's not even nice to the girl <laughs> you're over girls three are, you get no i don't want to, i want to be no. in pleasure not no, agony it, okay put it this way right <laughs> it starts like the karate kid wax on wax off Huh? What, what, what are you talking about? What, 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 what are you, I don't, I don't nice know. Nice Karate Kid reference. I'm moving uh, 40 years Wax old. on, wax <laughs> off. Be, be gentle. See how it goes. These girls were born in 1994. No, but I'm saying, yeah, that's great. How do they know I mean, about Karate Kid? Yeah. I'm just using that as an example, you know. Primitive I mean, people. But. She's thinking of Will Smith's kid right now. She's like, what? J Jada mean? Pinkett, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait, not Jada. Jada Pinkett's her kid. Chrissy, have you ever seen a human being that looks like Mike? Oh, human being, <laughs> human, human being. being. Hold on, do it. try again, Mike. Look over in a second. That Judge was a bad the witness. Answer made. the question, please. <laughs> I think he's gonna put Brad Pitt out of business. And That's, what out of business. Like. That's what I like. That's what I like. I think he's gonna put Dennis Hoff out of business. I forget about Dennis Hoff. Look at Mike. I think. <laughs> let me tell you what. I think. That, here's the thing. Yeah, because on the outside, if you guys, a lot. yeah, if you guys ever have a movie night like you Hefner does, I think the best shot you have at employment is they could show the movie on your second chin. <laughs> Oh God! Okay. Have you ever seen a chin that big? No, it's not that big. Believe me. You know, you know what the greatest part big. about this is? We couldn't write this. Saturday Night <laughs> no, Live nobody, couldn't write. And nobody it, could. It's real. It's real. <laughs> it, it just fell in our lap. Mike, right. Well, I have a question for I'm you. I'm as real as a bonfire. Then, the, so I really am. I don't care. What's your idea of taking a girl out on a good date? Okay, first, we'll start bringing her roses. First, she's playing with tits. <laughs> 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 What's it start with, guys? It's, it's start, it starts with being a gentleman, first of all. What, how does that? What is that? When she when she says, okay, you, you pick a nice place, right? First of all, you dress the best you can, wear a lot of good, whatever cologne you want. And not Ramona. Wear a lot of cologne? Not a lot. Let me finish. You don't want to give her a headache. No. 
just pick a nice place, like an intimate place, maybe some place where no one can hear her scream. I understand. Uh, in well, agony, so well, you don't want to no, hear her no, scream. No, no, no. Let me look okay, no, let him finish. No, honestly, let <laughs> him. come on, Gino, stop with your hack, bitch. You got some bitch this weekend to do. You know what I okay, mean? Okay, okay. <laughs> just explain the whole thing. <laughs> okay, pick a cool place, right? Bring us some nice candy, some flowers. Be nice. Be a gentleman. Ask you, can you hold a hand? First of all, it's kind of gentleman. I am shit cool. Flowers, not like ragweeds or anything like that. Legit yeah. flowers. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. You know, she's got a good taste. Then I went down. When okay. you asked to hold her hand, now you ask permission. Can I hold your hand? You just don't grab a woman like she. Now what do you say? I like I mean, that. I like that. When she calls the cops, how do you handle that? No, no. You just say, "May I hold your hand?" You're a gentleman always. So you don't just grab her hand. No. Women are not. You, she's not a. You just don't grab them. That's ridiculous. Because and, and then she starts blowing the rape whistle. No, and then, <laughs> and then you sit down. See what she wants to drink. Just let the conversation flow. See what happens. What kind of stuff do you talk to her about? You know to find out more about how what she's about. I, I like to listen to women talk because. You learn like a lot what? from like what? Like I mean, why don't you tell a little bit about yourself to the woman? Yeah, no, but tell I'd us love... about yourself. I want to know your background. I'm like, she, he likes to ask the women questions, like, how do you plan on paying for the dinner? <laughs> no, no. If God, that's the case, he's taking her. No, he's... God, I always pay no matter if it's my friend, sister, or well, how are you going to? I treat all women like they're the best thing to happen to me. Friends, are you gonna family, pay, sister, You're not just going to make her get something off the dollar menu at McDonald's. No, I'm going to take places. her to a legit restaurant. No. He'll, he'll get the dollar menu. No, no, I, I go all the way. I don't go to no, none of those places like that. Now, what else, what else do you say to a woman? Just be nice and maybe, you know, she would just get to know her a little bit. I don't want, you know what I mean? Women like to, hit, you know, let you know what they're about to Do you have a different cologne for your neck fat? I have, uh, I have uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> Obsession by Calvin Klein. Obsession. Wow. Latin. Is that the goofiest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> yeah. Here's, yeah, here's, right, here's right. the one thing. I like it, though. <laughs> he's at a polo. Obsession. He's, a really, se he's really serious about but, this, you know, Artie. But, but, but you know what? Mike, he needs to know this. This is what a girl wants to hear. How much she's going to spend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I have... And with him, it better be a are lot. Are you taking her to Arby's, Taco Bell, no, or McDonald's? I have, guys, I have American Express Gold, just in case you need it. Hey. How'd you get that? I got it for two years since I got on the show. I got some great credit. You're welcome. You got, you got great credit? Yeah. Use your credibility. I know. He used my What's your, what's your credit cousin. score? Hi, Dennis. How are you? I was the announcer in the Artie Lang show. <laughs> Indirect TV. It was indirect. Yeah, it was not on direct TV. It yeah. was indirect yeah. TV. Didn't go directly to your house. It was up. indirect. You cannot make this stuff up. Now, gold card. He's pulling out his gold card right now, guys. Well, you better hope that's what he's pulling out. I believe you. I believe you, Mike. Yeah, no, we don't Fuck. need to see it. I didn't think you were that's that. A, that's a platinum card. Mike, call 888 Bunny Ranch and give him that number. Like, what is the card? other card? Exactly. <laughs> Hold on. I'll He's show pulling you out his prepaid Walmart card. Thing. Mike, who pays for these credit I do. I pay. I'm a good, I got great credit. I'd you. love to see that. He's How got a Discover card in there. He's not letting you I see that. I pay my credit. I pay early. When's the last time? When's the last time? He, he took does a everything girl? early, hon. Remember that. When's the last time that. he took a girl out? Uh, I was supposed to go out a few weeks ago. It didn't happen, but I don't give a shit. What happened? Aww. Who cares? She's, you clearly give a shit. I really don't care because you know why? It's like a bus when it comes to a woman. If it's not the right one, another one will come along. What was her excuse? You know when a guy puts his Velcro wallet in the front pocket of his sweatpants, he means business, honey. That's all I'm saying. You know, let's go shopping. You can get a new hat after this. I love this hat. Yeah, I know. First of all, he's got the Velcro 80s wallet from a... You look like you're in a journey video. Yeah, but less than worse. No, but less than more a suit. You guys broke my balls. Now it look like Audie Lang's weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather the suit. I like the suit. I feel comfortable like this, though. You know, it's well, like, you look comfortable. That's I for am. sure. You look like John Wayne Gacy at the at when he was a cook at the <laughs> Stateville. <laughs> oh God! You know, I, I, here's what I think we should do because we got we have a, have to have a conclusion to this. I think Artie, you should bring him out there and let him work for a day. Well, yeah, what and about, try things out. Well, what about that, then? What about forget the tester job? Do you think you could get Mike laid if I take him out there? <laughs> A absolutely i guarantee it <laughs> a bold I statement. guarantee it. if you come with him i'll come with him. Oh. he will he will get laid i'll make it happen that and, mean and, i'm and fucking we'll, him and, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, we'll, no we'll do the we'll do the oh, chrissy will beg the girls i mean, I mean chrissy <laughs> will talk to the girls and uh we'll make sure that and we'll broadcast right from there chrissy what do you think do you think we'll do a live podcast yes. and what do you think do you think that you could help mike in that situation I could definitely help him find a girl. Right. Yeah. What should you go? Drink four shots. Dr drink <laughs> no, four shots of tequila and just have it her way with him. Yeah, but that, what about age wise though? That's the thing, you know, like what, about it? Yeah, what age are you, you looking have for, between Mike? Between eighteen and forty nine years old there. Wow. 
You what age are you looking for, Mike, if I can ask? Early to mid-30s. I guess they can. 18 yeah. to 49. That's not bad. Early. Oh, I'm too young for him. I shucks. Think, Mike, you know what? When, when you <laughs> Darn. get when you get to heaven or you get to hell, if you haven't banged Air Force Amy, you're not gonna have anything to talk about. Air with Force you. Amy. Air Force. She's 49. Well, so, oh, really? I, I like the young ones, though, Dennis. It like, sounds like she knows what she's doing. Oh, she's <laughs> smoking. She's yeah. hot. I think, she's hot. I think no. you're like Air Force Amy. Okay, so it sounds good to me. I mean, <laughs> you just changed Air like Force that. would do that. Air you know, Force fell apart, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, I like them young. If you'll like her. Okay, give her. Okay, right done. You know, you got a, you got a, you got a, Hepsi Helen. <laughs> no, but Dennis, I like like Hepsi <laughs> Helen. She's in my stable. I like Cl- Chlamydia Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, I like petite woman. How about head. blind Betty? That's what you need. <laughs> blind Betty. <laughs> Gonorrhea Gloria. <laughs> oh, nasty. <laughs> Do you still go after girls who have vision? I think that's a problem. You guys- I, well, I'll put it this way, right? I don't, I, I'm very champagne caviar taste when it comes to a woman. I am. But obviously, huh? you don't want, they can't have the same taste. Yeah, yeah but you know what, though? If you, I think if you play cards right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like before the girl who blew you off for whatever reason. Aww. I get blown away. I don't give a shit, though, because you know what? There's a lot of women out there. What did she say to you, Mike? What was the excuse? I had Some to, kind of non. I don't remember. I decided like, to set myself on fire instead. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, hope, I hope she did, actually. But, uh, I decided to hit my pussy with a sledgehammer. Instead. No, but, <laughs> no, but the thing is, uh, I, Dennis, I tell this to audio, the audio all the time, right? He don't believe me. I think there's no such thing I'm as a just, league when I'm it comes not. to a woman. He can get any woman he wants in America. Well, no, but no we're not talking about me. We're talking about helping you out, dude. Yeah, but I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> yeah, we want to get. You Artie's laid. got a job. <laughs> he, doesn't, yeah. he doesn't need. Apparently, this. it's getting you laid. <laughs> I mean, I think I, you know what I think. You should let your hair grow out a little more because your face looks enormously round. I, I yeah, but I, yeah, she let it grow. Like she knows hair. You know, got good hair. Well, yeah, G- thank you. Gino's a thin guy. You know? <laughs> Nobody has an Italian like Roman soldier hair. The one thing about having him as a shopper is that the girls would never suspect it. They would. No, you're right about that. They would <laughs> That's never, right. Never suspect this it can't be the guy from corporate. <laughs> oh, it, oh, y'all don't let him know who the tester is. It, it oh, would. No. Well, yeah, not, he oh, would. You can't do that. No. Of course not. Oh, no, it doesn't work. So listen, if, uh, uh, here's, here's Mike, you could get a spinoff out of it. It could be like Cat House meets Fear Factor. I think it'd be, <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be great. I think it, he just comes in and then it, the light shines. No, on grab she ain't out, baby. Hey, can you imagine the girls every night having a few drinks? Every guy that comes, I think that's him. Oh my God! <laughs> but no one would I'm, guess. I'm with gonna Mike. give him my best moves, boy. This guy's gonna get. Or, you see or, the water or, or, or moving the, like in Jurassic Park. <laughs> do you do, you, do do the testers from corporate office usually look like a guy uh, with Down syndrome and a Velcro wallet? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, uh, you know, everybody. God made. God did a lot of laughing when he made me that day. You know, so I can't help it. Uh, <laughs> and, me too. Oh, and, and you know what? Don't criticize yourself like oh, that. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> It's not going to work when you do it. Make fun of me, not yourself. Yesterday, I'm doing Kevin and Bean show in in, in, uh, in right. LA, right? And so we're talking about this job thing because they called me and it's spur of the moment. I hung up the phone and Ron Jeremy, my bitch, calls and says, what's going on? Why are you paying people to do this? I'll do this for you. <laughs> like he thought, you know. Yeah, no, Ron, so Ron and you have a, a real tight friendship. Oh, yeah. We're How did that develop? You're just always at the ranch? Or? Oh, we're, we're just really close. In fact, he was here with us last week in New York. I had to ride with, in a cab with, alone with him. He kept asking me if I was wearing pants these or not now when you hear I was like yes I am Ron because you're in here well then does that, does that make you mad <laughs> yeah, yeah he's my best friend and I know really he's the eating sleeping penetrating machine he can't <laughs> he cannot say no oh now Ron I'm gonna give I'll tell you a story Ron at the, at the rainbow because every night at late the rainbow night, in, in LA that's where yeah. the celebs end yeah. up that's where, I've been there the, before it's the comedy seller yeah yes, yes, okay. I've been there before and yes. uh without comedy and so every, you know you go in <laughs> without you got, you, comedy, got all, yeah. you got all the rappers up front smoking weed all the old the old Ro- I'll say this stars. about the rainbow. I used to hang there in the nineties. It's a fun place. In the in the back bars, where all the old <laughs> yeah. rockers still doing yeah. the coke they were doing. In, in the fun 90s. place, fun exactly. Place. So so we're in there. Well, Ron in the in the kitchen. There's the most disgusting little bathroom you've ever seen. Yeah. It's called Ron's office, <laughs> and it's, it's an employee bathroom. And Ron goes in there and does his bonings, his nightly bonings. In really, there, right? In like two, three, four. Finds a chick and right, fucks yeah. him. But Ron, it's just a tip. If Ron, just the tip. If Ron, I don't want the tip. If Ron, can, just, if Ron can get her in <laughs> no, that bathroom, boy, no, no, boy, and, no. And, and just give her a couple strokes. In his mind, he's he's banged the chick. Right, of course. Okay, yeah. and I'm like Ron, stop this. 
crap. I mean, do you ever want to ejaculate? You're going to explode someday, dude. I know. So he doesn't go all the way. No, not really. At all. Why he, is that? Because he needs to be ready for the next experience. Oh. So it's a real mental illness. Yeah. She was at the ranch once, and this girl on the show, Carla Cubana, this Cuban girl, she says, Ron, can I show you my room? And Ron says, okay. So she, they go to the room. We all run in the office because we can listen, right? Mm -hmm. Got monitors in there. So, and, she, and, and she says, can I see it, Ron? She says, oh, well, if, if I, you see me, I get to see you. Right. And, and if you touch me, I get to touch you. <laughs> If you taste me, I get to taste you. Oh, my God. Oh, he goes through this whole routine. He's smooth. Yeah, smooth. So now, <laughs> Not that smooth because it doesn't work on thing, me. It's like a Don Draper. <laughs> the, the, next, the, next thing, the next thing you know, she's got it in her mouth. And, and he says, no, slow, slow, slow. He says, why, Ron? He goes, I, have, I have to work on Monday. I have to work on It's always I have to work on Hoping he's going to get a porn gig, right? Mm -hmm. All right? I have to work on Monday. <laughs> I can't. In other words, he I can't He acts ejaculate. like it's a nine to five Monday it's, through Friday it, job or so, something. <laughs> so it's just slow down, slow down. So, Ron, let me just put it in for a minute. He says, okay, okay, okay. No, slow down. No, no, not so fast. No, take, take, take. Oh, sounds get, erotic. Get, exactly. Yeah. He's, 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 he's trying to keep from getting it done, right? Right. And, and finally, you, you hear this, the old Jewish wine. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gets mad when he comes. He, he got off. He, and so I hit the button. And Ron. Uh, the sex is free. When you ejaculate, you pay. Bring your credit card to the <laughs> office. <laughs> he says, you were listening? And everybody else, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about that, Mike? Do you, do you get a hard-on easily these days? I know you're, sick, you're 60 oh, yeah. years old. Being in better, better shape, I totally do. It goes How like, old are you now? I'm, I'll be 54 tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Yeah, well, I mean, oh, that's oh. amazing. But, but Mike, but let me ask you this. How do you go from zero to 100 in one day? In other words, you're not having much sex. It's been a while. And, and I'm going to want you to perform three or four times a day. Right. As a tester, you, I mean, come on. Well, I'm in good shape. That's a good that, point. I, mean, I, I got some great You stamina. could fuck four times a day? Yeah. Well, I'm in great, great shape physically. You could fuck four times a day. Well, you know we can see you. I'm right, always Mike? I'm always ready to go. So Mike forgets we can see you. The listeners can't. Yeah. I actually uh, I, I can if you're uh, also hiring. <laughs> oh, you eat a lot of oysters. Listen, would I already got the job. Oysters huh? into those aphrodisiacs, eh? Would you get shut mad? up, you and your banana Chris? <laughs> would, would you get mad if Gino got the job over you now? Who cares? Would well, you be jealous of him? Well, he's very. Jealous. Oh, I hate him to begin he's jealous with. Jealous so of friends you, get Would you be peanut butter and no, jealous? I'm, I'm jealous of. I hate him to begin with, so it don't really matter at this point. <laughs> well, listen, I'm gonna, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let uh, Dennis and Chrissy got a roll, but I'm going to I'm going to set this up. I promise you, we'll do a podcast. I want you to come out there. Ranch. And if the girls on, it would be crazy. And we'll do but that. Let me tell you something. When you start start dealing with Air Force Amy's and people like that, yeah, you, you got content because they're gonna they're gonna this give it give fun. it all. Mike, so do you think you can make some time in your busy? Yeah, schedule? no, well, I'd love the West Coast. I love all right. that. Okay, uh, we're gonna make that happen. Dennis and Chrissy, thank you so much. Thank it's you, great. Mike. I love the place. Love I love you guys. It's gonna be fun. And, uh, Art of the Pimp, the Art of the Pimp love story. One man search for love, sex, and money. The P.T. Barnum booty. You didn't laugh when you said you like love that time, like you did. Look, Dennis Huff <laughs> with a uh, a forward by the great Bob. And, and I just got a job. You know what, Bob? I, I yeah. Before I leave today, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to give you a VIP booty pass to put in your pocket. <laughs> it's kind of next next to your AAA card. Okay. You know, it's for emergency purposes. He's like, okay. I, dude, I'll take it. Do you <laughs> even have a AAA card living in NYC? Do you even have a card? You just well, I live in Jersey. And I go He's got shore. a booty card. That's all he, he needs. He has a card with one less A on it. I'm Believe being, me. like, analytical about it and Believe stuff. Me, I gotta does he even have a AAA yeah. card? I got to tell you something. If I give the booty <laughs> card to a cop, I got a better chance of getting off on a ticket than... Yep, you do that. You know what? That's that. a smart thing. <laughs> Before they put the cuffs on you, I want you to say, hey, I, I got something for you. I got my, my, my buddy's got his card. Absolutely. That'll work way better. Uh, way absolutely. better. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're ready. Okay, can I tell one last story? Yeah. Go right ahead. Okay, so I, I used to stay at the Soho Grand a lot. So the chef wants to meet me. And uh, he spoils me, makes me all these great foods. So I, I, I bring him clothes. You know, I bring, I bring him some clothes. And uh, so next time we come in, the manager says, you got to talk to the chef. I said, why? He says, it was a problem, but you fixed it. I, go, I said, chef, what's happened? What happened? He says, I was on the subway that, that night after you gave me that hat. I said, yeah. He said, I was smoking. The cops came up and jacked me up. I said, and? He said, they searched me. Yeah. I, I had coke in my pocket. Oh, God. He said, now, now I'm, I'm going to jail. And the cop looks at me and he says, where'd you get that hat? He says, I'm Mr. Hoff's private chef when he's in New York City. Nice. 
He grabbed the cap, hat from him and says, go ahead, tell Dennis he owes me. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I give you this card. You keep this in mind. I will use it. Absolutely. <laughs> Dennis Christie, thanks. We're going to take a break. Come back. We'll talk with Pachetti Moore, the great Gina Bisconti. Everyone's here. Uh, Craig's here and Dennis and uh, Chris is here. We're going to have some fun. Thank you, guys. Be well. Good luck with the rest of the tour in the book. Thank you. All right. It's my cousin's. It's fantastic. Oh, nice. I was out. Uh, it's in Utah. I actually picked up some T-shirts for some buddies. Yeah. We're back. You need. You We're back on Artie Quitter, Artie Podcast, whatever the fuck the name of this thing is. Hey, <laughs> listen. It's a crowded room today. Mike Pachetti's here. I thought Mike was going to do the weather. I guess not. I'm, I'm dressed as Artie Lang's weather man today. You guys are breaking my balls about it. Great joke. That's like the fourth time you've used that. <laughs> Nobody heard it, though, I don't think. Maybe the, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> the, problem is, the problem is people heard it. Uh, maybe the wrong uh, that's right. Yeah. Now, uh, Mike, Mike did you see, uh, you saw Dennis Hoff? And yeah. He, I mean, this is a real thing. No, Don't embarrass like, me. You're going to get on a plane and go out there, right? No, I, I'm always a general woman, guys. You guys think I'm like, I'm in a terrible But woman. I need you to I'm, shower. I'm really I need of course shower. I do. I bought a new suit. Describe the suit. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. It sounds like a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it, it's good. What is it? What color? It's like it's like Listen black. Gino, describe the suit. Like blue, like what well, color? Like uh, black, blue. I don't. Know. It's got like it's pockets nice. where you can conceal so handcuffs. Well, sure you bought a suit. Rope. Rodney King. You bought a Rodney suit. King color. And you don't know the color of the suit you bought. <laughs> I love Chris Rodney King color. <laughs> you don't know the you don't know the color of the suit you bought. <laughs> it's probably like light black or dark. I probably. Know. I don't. know. I just well, got were, it. Were you I there when you bought it? Yes, I was. But it's hard to describe. I'm not good at. Technical details. Is Aaron like Gardner this, blue? Yeah. Is that that's the name of the <laughs> oh, Gardner blue? Technical. De- we're asking for one of eight basic colors. That's, that's not sweet. a technical detail. It's like an, a, a mixture between dark blue and black. Navy uh, blue? Midnight know, blue. Navy blue. Midnight blue? Midnight blue. No. Midnight. I like Greg Hardy's girlfriend's eyes. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's Those are the blue. color of disrespect. I was going to wear it today, but, you know. Uh, well, why didn't you wear it today? I figured, you know. Last time I wore a suit, you guys were breaking my balls. I'm like, it was uh, a shitty suit. Yeah. That was the problem. And that's the thing. But now it's like I felt feel more comfortable like this. I figured this is how you address me through the weather. Now, how, is your ass filthy today? We're no. to wipe your ass properly. I can, I've been wiping my ass for the past year now. I can do it lost the way. I can do it. <laughs> so, when you go before that? At your heaviest, you were not able to wipe your ass. No, I had to use a towel. Towels was brutal. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hold on, how do you wipe your ass with a towel? <laughs> yeah. Now towels, towels, my friend. How do you wipe your ass with a towel? <laughs> and what towels, would you, what you, would you towels. do? What would you do with them? You got to bend it and like, sh- sh- like shine and shoot, shoot like. Sh- 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 oh my Jesus God! Christ. Really? I would just get yeah. a colostomy oh, bag at that. Are the cops the aware that the most disgusting thing the human beings ever done was going on in your house? <laughs> no, but the thing, but that, <laughs> that is, that is, I can't imagine. <laughs> but finding no, but then I took to reverse what would you do? and clean my nutsack and, and ass with it. Out. And then you would just <laughs> leave it there for your mother. That's a yes. That's no, a no, yes. Because no, no. you either say God I, no, I, I, Artie, or well, you say I buried the towels in the back of your Audrey. <laughs> I'm saying that's what you should do. You How many towel it? bodies are back there? Kristen's probably like a whole cemetery. Towel <laughs> you would b- bury your shit towels? Yeah, it's like a cemetery back there. <laughs> when would you wait? So you wipe your ass, and then what, would you wait for the be- the middle of the night, like a black mass or something? Like no, and make sure like you know everyone's sleeping and stuff, and like in the middle of the night, I'd be like. Make sure it's not like the dig. That, that's why they have to move every couple of years. I was gonna say. <laughs> would you actually hear the tiptoeing noise? The backyard's when you go to do full. It? Would, would, would do, like do, it do, take? Do. Would it take roots? And would like a shit oh. tree grow? No, but I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the smell coming from his house was his career this whole time. It was a shit tree. Oh, 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 God, Gina, what is? Can you spell career besides not have one? Oh, J O B oh, oh. career. <laughs> yeah. Mike giving himself a round of applause. Hey, somebody's <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, but but yeah. I, I, uh, I, what I, did you think him up from? I love him because he, he's the only non-Italian Italian I know on this planet. Well, he he says that a lot. I don't even get. I that. would be worried that the chemicals in the ground in Staten Island will combine with your shit. No, no, for the, it's <laughs> good for the and, and a shit monster would. Be. No, no, that, that's what <laughs> you No, but it, tomatoes the size no, of his head. No, I, I swear <laughs> to God, <laughs> toxic shit avenger. No, no, horse shit is the best fertilizer. Not yeah, just shit, horse shit. What about Boschetti shit? <laughs> Melvin the mop boy. Uh, in my house in Byland, the neighbors would always use uh, chicken shit to fertilize. Oh, chicken is there a stunk. video of you wiping your ass with no, your No, no, I made sure. No, 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 I made this around earlier, right? You should Instagram. It's like doing a mafia hit. I made sure. How many years did you, how many, first of all, how many years did you wipe your ass with a towel? Like, That's pretty good uh, question. Well, on and off, Chris, my weight, like, fluctuated. Yeah, I get that. Well, you know those years. About how many years? You still didn't give a number. 
I don't know offhand. Well, you well, know those years, are, those years are coming back. If I can Ugh. defend Mike, I've seen, and I'm not, it, I've seen people a lot fatter than you. A lot fatter than I you know. at your fattest, yeah. and I can't imagine them ever having to do the same. I think you're lazy, if no, I may be I'm honest. I'm going to have to agree with you. My yeah. dad was so pretty you fat. Physically, like you're, you're saying you couldn't like reach your ass? You could, maybe you... Maybe you just had uh, bursitis or something. No, no, no. It was like, ah! Well, what would you do when you like... shit on the road? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> you shit on the road. Like, what if you had a shit in an airport or something? Well, made, you uh, just wouldn't wipe your ass. No, I, I, I had a... I, Pissed on the floor in the up, not in the floor, in the plane itself, like on the floor. I'm like, oh, fuck. He, he paid no attention to those signs that you, say it, be eco friendly and reuse this towel. Wait a minute. <laughs> you, you, would just the piss, you would just piss on the floor. I, I couldn't, my, my dick was so shriveled up, I couldn't even make, the, make it shoot into the toilet the right way. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How, how much, thank God you lost weight for everyone's sake. Anyone who says the state. best comics are brutally honest are wrong in this case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat, but I, I guess I'm just blessed with a, a nice sized dick. Wait a minute. Never been you, you would you would it sit is. on the bowl. It is. No, Did I, I say that? Up oh. and I pissed. I'd miss a couple of times, like you know, shooting a cannon off, and it just misfires. You know, that's it's a bold statement saying I have a tiny penis and then calling it a cannon. That is a sentence <laughs> later. <laughs> that's impressive. I got a little shriveled up cannon. What the? <laughs> Do you so really be shit and piss? Tuna can. No, no, but it's not. Yeah, but tuna can. No, but I, I, you know, I'll put Mike, it in Peggy Sue. Bachetti. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, that's a cool movie, dude. Let's go back to the retro. Dress like so would, it look, would you look at a fat chick with a pussy sitting on I don't the... like fat chicks. I'm very bad. With that. Did you really just say that? Yeah. So if a I don't really, either, let's let's say give... let's say a plus size model just hit on Oh, wait. Well, not plus a plus size model. No, she's a fat chick. But that's a fat chick. No, I don't think that's a fat chick. No, no. Okay. Oh, now <laughs> it's semantics. Right. Chris, absolutely. Black right. guy's not going to think it's a fat chick. Plus model. There's some plus mics. Models that are beautiful, too. Beautiful. What if a fat chick with an average face... Uh, like Lloyd Grin with a wig, <laughs> came up yeah. to you and said she wanted to blow you. She okay. wanted to put your tiny cannon in her mouth. Would you say, <laughs> yeah, no, no yeah. fat chicks? Th th nothing more than that. Though, I, mean, you know we, I mean, we can't. If a fat chick wanted to blow me right now, don't get excited, Lord. I'd say, yeah. I'd say, yeah. I'm a guy. <laughs> I, mean, I don't sit there and, 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 and <laughs> just draw a line and be like, no fat chicks. He didn't say, okay. No, Mike wanted to blow you. My, well, <laughs> Mike was, no, Mike got very condescending. He's like, no, no fat chicks. Really? No, no, Are you no, in that position? Yeah, you're in no position. You're right. How you're no dare position. you? I've How dare you? You say no fat chick. I didn't mean think. fat fat. I meant just oh, fat. Well, you didn't say it. no fat fat. I'm but yeah. little hit but do, you, do you know what? Like he said it earlier. He has champagne taste in women. Over the years, that girl that was sitting here earlier. Is it's that or better in Mikey's eyes? He doesn't want anything He's less shallow than shallow hell. He's shallow hell. So hell. that's yeah. why you're never shallow getting hell. laid because right. no no chick like that's gonna fuck you. You gotta work your way up. You gotta start fucking ugly chicks to get your confidence going at least. Dude, start well, texting them on Facebook. That's what I do. Fantastic. What if a chick looked like you? Would you fuck her? No, so what? Like, you I don't expect a chick to fuck you. No, but, no, but the thing is, but the good thing about all the shit is girls that denied me when I was young look like me now. They I deny you when you're old, Mike. What the fuck? He's yeah. got to show that platinum card up front. <laughs> and every age in between. <laughs> I no. thought of the uh, Okerson joke. No, when but you we said should that. definitely. They used to have this thing, guys, on like a coffee date type thing where you meet like 10 women. At speed, a coffee date. speed dating? 10 thing. women kind? Co no, coffee. Speed shitting. <laughs> but you've got to call me a ten different woman, and if they like you, to give the person the number or whatever. But no, but I, I I've been on Tinder a lot. I'm trying to scroll, but it's not working. <laughs> How like, bored are you when we watch. don't hang out, guys? Right. <laughs> it's a good I just feel like we're all hanging out. I'm right. so what is your approach to the woman? Because I, you're the only married guy. I'm, I'm, I'm married, but uh, if, I'm I'm married. Gonna, I'm, if I'm going to talk to women, it's about being straightforward and honest. But Gino also made a good point, man. Like, I did? Yeah, you did. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. It's not, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I also wasn't doing, I would fuck anything. But I also I have a taste of women I like to be with. But oh yeah, yeah. you gotta you gotta separate the two. Your dick no, and your right. and your long term goals are two different things. <laughs> your dick long -term and your long term goals. <laughs> it is. It is. That's perfectly put. Fuck the long Jeremy wanted. of the Audi Lang podcast. Then, yeah. Then, yeah. Okay. No, just a tip. We no, all have yeah. these long term <laughs> grandiose goals and we make plans and charts and then our dick is like put it in her. Okay. Yeah, he's right. Mike, what is your what is your long term goal for a woman? Just have a nice woman who loves me for me and be with her. That's it. So. Any realistic goals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hashtag no, I like nice hurtful. woman, real. I mean, you may think I like skanks and whores and bimbos. You no, we said don't. you do. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't think that. You confirmed it. He's right. I want to say it. No, Chris, he, Artie's okay. right on two levels. Yeah. You did say you did last time you were here. But secondly, I never assumed you like skanks and whores until you told us you like skanks and whores. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, it sells well on the radio and TV. I just don't. I, I really like a nice girl. It sells well, yeah. We're all driving Bentleys. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> of your story. <laughs> right. 
But yeah, I don't but James is probably smooth with women. Flipping smooth Jimmy over here. He's probably smooth with chicks. Well, uh, he's wearing a Met shirt. What makes you say that? No, because you're laid back and you don't like, you know, you're not like howling like a wolf. Are you attracted to him? Have you ever seen a man howling like, like a wolf, Mike? I don't Is that another, like, that's a cartoon know. thing. Yeah, like is that kid, another analogy? I have a lot of analogies. Half of them are from the 40th century. You howl like Scott Wolf. <laughs> howl like a wolf. No, but I picture him doing great. You know why? Because like him going in there like a hunter for the for the, like going pigeon hunting. Like you know what I mean? You go in there like no one's ever hunted pigeon. He said pigeon hunting. Right? No, no, pigeon hunting. Jimmy probably goes in there like this. Go to a I bar. drove him from Brooklyn for this pigeon hunting. Really? <laughs> no, like please know, tell me you've got more than this. No, phone bills and goes foot to a bar and goes that ass looks mighty fine. That's just, he's probably, probably thinking, let's see if it's attainable. <laughs> so like, why don't you try those techniques, though? Yeah, really? Instead of playing with her tits first. <laughs> no, that's where I go first. <laughs> okay, first you play with her tits first. And then eat some snatch after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat some snatch. snatch. <laughs> well, you're a smooth operator. Eat some snatch. Play with her tits first, eat a snack. <laughs> when I'm done with my tits, I'm going to be all over yours, Angel. <laughs> you just chew through those ropes. <laughs> you ever fucking with your shriveled up no, dick like that to, doesn't like, reach like, the toilet? The cannon? Then, but I like the wheelbarrow the position to grab by the leg, slap her on the ass, and bone her from behind. Oh, I, Fuck. I may not get an erection Mikey, for months now. The Peggy Sue cannon. Coming Peg, I, even ate, I like to punch it first. Do you yeah. know what a Peggy Sue is? Do you know what a Peggy Sue is? I don't even know what I am. Do y'all know what a Peggy Sue is? You know what a Peggy Sue is, right? I have no idea that's what, a, what that that's was. A one, that's the one shooter gun. That's, the, that's why I call it the Peggy Sue. We used to tease people with that little one... Gun and got so one you're making black it. gun ghetto jokes? No, oh. it's a very actually it's a very educated Wild West joke. <laughs> oh, that's even, I'm sorry, well, I didn't know. That, but me and my friends used to call Small Dick's Peggy Sue. I Sue's. never heard that's the Peggy Sue. You talking to? You got to really explain. Yeah, I mean, Hit, yeah. my name is Mike Gino. <laughs> wow, he's got the same last name as I have first name. That's amazing. But yeah, what that's what Peggy Sue is. You got to listen to Chris because don't just like I don't go have get to listen to Chris. I don't have to. I'm being. He only gets five eighths of vote. Am I right? Oh Jesus Christ! Three fifths now. um <laughs> know your math. Know your fucking math. Now, like I was saying, <laughs> no, Gino's an impressive human being. You know why, Gino? You learn by listening. I guess you never learn, never learned a lot, buddy. You just got to listen to people. I don't know how. What do you say? I have Do all you these listen? Facts. You listen yes. to people. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you ever listen to yourself talk. Now, Mike. when that woman's screaming in your basement, how come you don't let her go, then, Mike? If you're such a listener, <laughs> she's asking to be let go, and you're ignoring. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I, I, I learned. Put the like, lotion on the skin. Women, that's why I like to let women talk about themselves because they they don't. You didn't say Simon says. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a you know, like, they're, they're not, like fuck, they won't shut up sometimes. You gotta listen. That's what you gotta put the tape on their mouth, right? <laughs> they don't shut Your up. Words, not mine. Well, like, what do they like, say? Like, no, like you know, sometimes it's you know, it, but I do have some women I may be interested in. Huh? Well, well who are these lucky gals? Oh, no, well, you know, I don't kiss and tell. You know, you didn't kiss them yet, though. You're interested. <laughs> you, you, you're allowed to be interested out loud. Oh yeah, yeah. I, you know, I. But the thing is, Chris, can you tell without kissing? I haven't kissed yet. <laughs> I know. That's what I mean. So what are you talking about? No, but I know a woman I like when I see it. Just like, right away. Well, what I is just it? feel it. You feel it How in, are you in, doing in, on in Tinder? Because I <laughs> I am on Tinder, but I don't I've never used it. Like I've I've like, you know, had matches, but then once I get the match, it's it's literally like the game for me because once I get the match, I'm like, "Ah, she she would uh, whatever." But I never have the the play or the the logistics to follow up, but do you follow up on Tinder? Yeah, once you see, they say match, you say, hi, how are you? That's it, right away. I'm now, have you had a Tinder date? I almost, yeah, had, who's I, the almost match? Had, I almost had a girl from Brazil that worked in a hospital. Brazil. <laughs> dancer, really. Uh, she sounds a little bit too good to be true. Yeah. The no, old no. Brazilian dancer, <laughs> hospital nurse. She's 26 years old, worked in a hospital. Just, just sounds like a di long distance relationship. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, really, a little too. I mean, she wants to keep it long. I yeah, think. I, I think no, that may not, not have been but, an actual but Brazilian dance. Mr. Lang here. How would you so have kept? How, how would you have kept Tinder thing? But how, how would you have met her? Would you have flown there? What, what, no, what? she's in America. Yeah. Oh. Tinder doesn't work like that. It has to be in a certain range. It's up to like well, forty, what's the range? 20, miles. Twenty, 20 feet to California. No, it has to be a hundred miles of your GPS, doesn't it? No, it's in one girl. It's three thousand miles away. It's that so that is not, cr there? Michael. That's wrong. You don't drive. That is incorrect. I, I don't think you're using Tinder, right? Yeah, you're yeah. not either. You're in Tinder or you're in a time no, vortex. I'm in Tinder. <laughs> no, no, it's Tinder. Look around. The boy. How often you want it? I'm all, I live on that thing. Tinder. <laughs> oh, that helps. Milky Way edition. Well, you don't drive though. How do you get there? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I was going to say, is Craig taking the Tinder Craig Lloyd, we're well, driving to Brazil today. But it was this Craig, what are you doing Friday? Yeah. There was this woman who was very interested in me. It's a cute girl from, she's way far away, though, in Oregon. Oregon? It's, it's Oregon. They you haven't know, gone Oregon, anywhere. You know where Oregon is? Yeah, it's by Utah, like way, way late. My ex used to live in Oregon. A little more some buggy. They got this good trail you can get No, but she's, she's about my own age. Very, very cute. And she, she liked me, but the thing is, she's far. 
And she the said thing is, one. she's not a no, human she, being. You haven't talked to her person to person. No, but I talked to her. I called her on the phone. I do. I do. Make you calls called her on the phone. I am in the twenty first. You you spoke seconds. with her on the phone. Yes. Call her right you know, now. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I want you to I call her. Right. I haven't talked. To I don't her have her number. Now. I'm gonna help. I'm God, have her number. She knows. Like, can you please call her? I mean, come on. Like, let me ask you something. With all due, if you got a, a chick you just said was hot and you spoke to her on the phone, would you hang up and be like, all right, let me delete well, okay, this me number from my phone? On, can we look her up? But that's not, we can't. If Why we, do we have to look her up if you I called her on you your phone? Me, you yeah, me, nowadays, you have the number on your phone, you have the number. I'm, I'm, it's I'm, it's I'm, right, check right behind I'm, I'm, your Velcro wallet. No, he doesn't He doesn't yeah. save people. Uh, I would love if we could call somebody, if we can call the chick. And we can have uh, Mike and Gino both run game on. But even a hot chick, even a hot chick, you don't save even a hot chick. I got her in my phone book at home. You have a phone book? Yes. Yeah, sure. Is it under your yellow pages? I don't, I don't have your number in there, Gene, but I, I got it. <laughs> Speed I, I, I dial zero. What are you, the prop master at Mad Men? You have a phone book. <laughs> Gino, what does Gino. that mean? <laughs> prop master at Mad Men? Gino, why don't you take Mike out and help him pick up chicks? I have no game. I have no I'll game. I like you're good. <laughs> you will, but I Maybe will pay you handsome. Maybe she liked you more now. She liked the show when we were What about you, Craig? Off. Craig, are you, how are you with the I'm, I'm married, man, a long time. Oh, fuck. 20, 20, 20, 20, I don't wear a ring yet, 24 years. hot? I'm married a long time. So, right? me and so you're both married. I, I sex a little is, Italian broad, right? I, I have. Uh, yeah, she's an Italian. A few other things. Crazy. Hot. She's, got, she's a mixed ball of nuts. But yeah, she is a very attractive young what lady. Is, what is you Thank write, God. What is you writing down for you? <laughs> what is you writing down for you? This is the name of the of the woman. Apparently, he just he wants gave me to you a name. <laughs> yes, it's a very generic name. <laughs> so I'm see. not sure if that's going to help. Tanya Tanya Hill, and she spells her name with a Y there's, backwards. There's, that's very interesting. There's no way well, that's a real person. It is. She that just might be Mikey's dys dyslexia. Yeah, <laughs> that's you know, right now, she'll get on the phone, I swear to God. Uh, does she work at the uh, Cheney University of Pennsylvania? No. Okay. Uh, well, that was my first result on Facebook. Cheney University? So. I, I, I no, went to Cheney University. She's a friend of mine. <laughs> did you really? I really did. I went to Cheney for a year. <laughs> a friend of mine. It's an HBCU. Historically back. What'd you say? Six degrees of separation. Yeah. I All right, we're well, talking over each other. Wait, wait, wait. What Mike said again? Oh, she's on my friend list. Robert. Talking to the microphone, Mike. Oh, she's on my friend list. I'm sorry. Your friend list? On Facebook. Yeah, I'll get her. No worry. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's a, quite a deep connection between these what two. What is the history? Yeah, what's the history you have with her? Mike. One thing at a time. Please, someone take a picture of this. Let's have a sidebar while he while he figures oh. this out. Let's have a sidebar. Mike, what are you looking at, Mike? Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> What is what is the history you have with it? I'm trying to find my friend on here. Oh, what friend? Uh, Tanya. Gino, do you have a lady we could call for you? So no, let's make oh, this. Oh, I have a lady. You let's make call. this equal. Now let's make this equal. If we're going to put Mike through this, because Mike and you have been going to, y'all been. I would have you call day. my ex just because it would aggravate the hell out of her, or the yeah, chick I mean, I'm kind of banging now that's always mad at me. Yeah, I she mean, is. Yes, y'all been y'all have been going at it. I kind of would like to make this even. I don't like to. Let's see this. I mean, oh. she looks like a cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> Artie's face was like, really? Mike, she's not going to call you back. <laughs> That's not a real person. It is a real person, idiot. <laughs> I mean, if it is, if it is, she's not let, me, let me see that. <laughs> I wish we had a Dude. neutral chick that we could just have them both Hold talk on. to. <laughs> if only I had a flock of bitches. If you could see him looking at his phone. This no wonder he thought he was in direct I've TV. Seen this Look at him. He used to do this. This is all he did on the air at direct TV. Which and is it was that, gold, that Arthur. Exact oh, yeah, that's a photo opportunity right there. It was gold, <laughs> visual. Arthur. Uh, I just, I just want to hear. Her. She'll get on here. Yeah, believe me. Hey, well, you can't even find her phone number. No, I got it. Not a number. No, I got it. Not her number. <laughs> what do you want to do? Yell out the window like Rocky? <laughs> Yo, Tanya! <laughs> West Side Story. <laughs> Maria! <laughs> Spanish Harlem. I just met a boy named Boschetti. <laughs> I just met a boy named Boschetti. Uh, you want to try to call John Avello? Yes. I guess we'll call oh, this. John Avello, the uh, executive director of race... Uh, Relations? Racing and sports at oh, the Wynn oh. Hotel and Casino in Vegas. Um, <laughs> that's right. We don't have to call him. Oh, I'd love to talk to him about the NCAA. Yeah, I know, but I... We just well, you're get, busy. You got be stuff crowded. to do. It's going to be yeah. crowded. Yeah. Uh, well, Mike, anything else? You well, have every, every woman I've been asking out apparently has a boyfriend recently. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Sometimes they all get boyfriends 10 minutes before they, you talk to them. <laughs> do they get the boyfriend right after you send... They get the boyfriend send, right after Right after you send the picture? <laughs> I started seeing someone when you hit send. Just got your picture. Here's my boyfriend's picture. No, but... I think that boyfriend line is uh, 
could be nonsense. I don't know. It depends who says it. You think, they're ma- do you think they have the gall to make it up to you? I don't know. I don't care. Woman, let them be what they want to be. I, do you have anger towards this last woman that blew you off? No, th- not at all. Three weeks ago? <laughs> it sounds like it, though. There's no reason, that, no reason to have anger towards skanks, you know what I mean? Because uh, <laughs> you sound very mad. See, that's no. the problem. It goes from love and champagne to skanks. No, I can yeah. turn. I can, you know why? Because I can turn. Dan, I can turn it very on and off because you know why? My my dad left me, and I can I can turn into an icicle. If oh, I need it sounds to. like you're mad at him too. No, not at him. No, no, no. I actually thought when I was coming here, you guys were going to get me inducted into the outfit. <laughs> That's what I thought. The outfit. The outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know I'm in the outfit? Are you in the outfit? I don't know. I'm only teaching because Staten I. Staten you know, Island. You got you got more connections than I do, probably. Not really. I, I'm Craig, I know Craig's connected. That's for sure. <laughs> do we have Tanya Hill's number? I mean, I found somebody you could talk to if that's all right. Oh, really? I, I mean, I worked it out. While y'all were talking, I worked some things out. Is she I, cutie? I, I think you might like her. Well, uh, what, what happened to Tanya Hill? Yeah. Uh, I, I really never met her. She's only through Facebook, really. So you know. I mean, really, so it's equivalent. Was she bursting uh, bursting into tears? She's very sweet, though. Really nice. How girl. do you know that? I talked to her on the phone. You don't know that from talking to her on the phone. What right? did she say? when? Okay, so you call her and you say, hi, this is mine. I haven't talked to her in a while, but I mean. But she, you recall she, the conversation. She, Yes, I, I wanted to find out more about her. You know, she's a what nice did girl. she say? She's close to she's my own age, first of all. That is girl is that. not your. Th- you're saying that girl uh, you just showed us a picture of is close to fifty. She, she's in great shape. Why not? The woman today she's take not, care of herself. She, she, that girl is twenty four in that picture. You're no. fifty four years old, Mike. That girl uh, is twenty four. She's not twenty four. She can take. T- no, I'm saying the girl yeah, in the maybe, picture is twenty four. Maybe you need these more than I do. I, I do need glasses. <laughs> well, fifty four years old, though, Mike is old. I mean, she's not 54. That girl's 24 in that picture. No, she's not 24. I honestly want maybe to she hear. is, maybe she isn't, but she's not 54, that's for sure. 53? Is, all right, I got a question. All right, are you fascinated? Did you ever hear, I want to hear him talk to women. I think I can help him if I hear what he's doing wrong. No, you can't. No, Chris definitely can. I, I, think that's I don't him. think that's going to no, help. Well, well, look, because Chris always gives me the benefit of the doubt. I think you know he, what he, can be he needs a team of people to help him. <laughs> he needs a team. Well, what a research team. Who is he going to talk to? I got, I would, to be honest with you, I contacted uh, one of our biggest fans that happens to be a lady, Chelsea, and she said uh, she'll talk. But she doesn't know what she's, she said she's available to talk. Right. So she's available can, every, every Chris, day. Oh, twenty four seven. She's available. Could, yeah, could you give me a shake? Just like if I'm tanking and just go like this because she can't see it. I'm not right, going to so say anything. How do we get her to call? What, what I, do we have to do? I already said that. I, I told her to hang by. Well, tell her to uh, call. Filato, you you handling it now? Yeah. All right. Chris, do I know how you thinking now? She she she's a fan of the podcast. She sends us her asshole. Oh, wait, already got there. Does she really? I like her already. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a real sweetie. Oh, the, the blonde. The blonde, Chelsea. She, just yeah. friend, she friended me last week when I heard her. Hey, oh, wait, is she from California? Same girl I'm thinking of? No. On Twitter. No, she's from a, a Buffalo Mental Institution. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Mike, would you we date can both, a, would We can you, both be Captain Crunch together. Would you date a girl with a history of mental illness? Uh, depends. What kind of illness does she have? Let's say, like, she is wants she to a join, psychopath? Wants to join ISIS. Choose. Vegas can't be choosers, Mike. She, maybe if she has a slight OCD, that's not too bad. Hey. Vegas cannot be choosers. Mike, stay focused. You're already getting unfocused, Mike. That's the problem. You got to stay focused. I know. I am, Chris. Put what your headset on, Mike. Put your headset. Put you your need headset. your headset. You need your headset. Oh, nice. I didn't know she, that. She won't be talking through us. Did you wash your ears? <laughs> <laughs> always. You I, always. I, I, that's the first thing I wash when I so get up. So what are we going to do? Hello, Chelsea? Hi, Artie. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Thanks for being such a big fan of the show. No problem. I love it. I know. We appreciate all your promotion. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Mike Pachetti's here, and Mike claims he has a rap with women. We don't think he does. Uh, and we said, let's find a hot hi, chick. Hi. Let's hi, find Chelsea. a hot chick for him to talk to. Mike, uh, go ahead. This is Chelsea. Chelsea, first of all, you got a nice voice. It's very intriguing. I like it a lot. It's very intriguing. Can you talk some more? That's yeah, your what do you want to talk about, Mike? That's up to you. I love to let the woman talk because I want to find out more about you. I mean, you know. Not too deep, but, you know, just enough. Oh, not too deep? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're not doing too good right First now. of all. <laughs> horrible. No, horrible. no. So, Mike, you're you right. sound intimidated by no, this not. girl. You, no, Mike, no, you're, you're, you're some, batting the bunny, some Mike. Guys, some, guys, <laughs> some guys work better in person. Well, why did you uh, make us call her? Then? I mean, you said you can you can no, work on a call. No, I mean you know you need to convince her then that you work better in person and well, tease her I, out. I'm, so look that at you, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Mike. I think you're a better phone person. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Jesse, because put it this way, right? I'm a t- t- I don't, I'm a total gentleman. First of all, if that's good or bad. Well, don't, I don't tell know. the woman that. I am. 
<laughs> Just I'm act change, like I'm not it. changing who I am. Well, like you that. talk. Don't let her talk. You talk. Okay. First of all, Chelsh, uh, be a man. Take it. I will. I'll man up. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have a cotton show me a like, picture of you. I can. Chelsh, first of all, uh, yeah. uh, I'm very vain of myself. I'm, I'm. I don't consider myself. John Goodman or anybody at that caliber. Yeah. Did he say <laughs> John Goodman? <laughs> you don't John consider Goodman yourself the John Goodman. Goodman. Yeah, I don't consider John myself John Babe Ruth. John Goodman. John, are you attracted to John Goodman, Joe? Oh, my God. Very attracted to John Goodman. What kind of a line is that? I thought I'd make a laugh. I want to try to talk, you know, ease a conscience. Not conscience. I mean, ease a, you know. I don't like to just, just ease it in, Mike. Ease yeah, it in. Go. Very, very nice. And like, what, what do you look like? If you don't, if you don't mind me asking you, if you don't have to explain, if you don't want to, because I'm not too vain. Is Joe there? I'm very wide. Oh, Joe's not okay. here today. <laughs> Did you say you're not too vain? Because I'm not too vain, but I am very veiny, Chelsea. Yeah. Very veiny. <laughs> Chelsea, have you ever met a Where? man with worse with women than Mike so far? No, this is pretty this bad. Is pretty like, bad. Oh, uh, yeah, but in, in person is another story. Yes. Are you a Chargers fan? Oh, no, uh, well, that's good. I'm Patriot. Uh, Gino, let let let. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Gino, I know he's trying to move. he's trying to work on my move here. Gino, you go next. He, Gino goes next. He's a cock blocker, we'll Chelsea. I'm so sorry, talk. but he's a sheep blocker. Well, go ahead, talk. <laughs> like y'all, like always. You know, my head's gonna explode. I'm sorry. Talk. No, uh, so uh, I'm gonna find more about what, what what kind of food do you like? All food. I'm into Asian food. I love pizza. You like Thai food? I love. I love Thai food. I love pad Thai. Thai, but what? Oh, I just. Oh God, Almighty! I just seen a picture. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, can they, uh, oh, whoa, I, I just lost my speech okay. pattern right now. <laughs> Mike, you got to relax, Mike. Yeah. Ignore the picture. And Sorry, Chelsea, I, I'm, a, I'm Chelsea. a grown man. I can't, I can't help. I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued by you. This is Chelsea, awesome. can you give him some tips on maybe how to talk to women better? That's the question. Can you help him out? No, but you're adorable. Him. I love this picture. It's like incredible. I'm like, my heart just Say stopped. something to her. <laughs> All right, I, I Mike. Got movement, Mike? Stop. My heart. Oh, whoa. Please help Mike out. You, you, no one's helping Mike out. No, you gotta, you gotta help myself. That's the thing. You know, I just gotta get out yeah, there. Say something, Mike. Like Use what? your words, Mike. I don't know. Mike, Mike, where do you want to take me? You can take me anywhere. Where do you want to take me? Oh, nice. Nice, intimate restaurant. Just hang out, get to know you a little bit. And then, you know. Will you feed me? Yeah, I'll feed you strawberries. Really? Oh, really? Chocolate covered strawberries? Chocolate covered strawberries. Those are my favorite. Chocolate. Oh, God. <laughs> I like, I like. You know, if I'm not too bold, I like to use food with sex. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, really? Mike. What's 30 seconds <laughs> what? in, Mike? Some whipped cream, Mike? Oh, no, like some honey cream? and whipped cream and, you know. Some, you honey? Know. Okay. Yeah, like short, honey. Oh, God. <laughs> Where should I put the honey, Mike? Right on, you know, uh, your chest, you know. The, uh, you know the <laughs> <laughs> Man, Mike, this is terrible. <laughs> no, I love it. Honey, are you kidding me? Honey, and I'll just like. Maybe maybe cover you in some whipped cream and chocolate and strawberries. What are you guys doing? They're, 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 they're getting excited over here by themselves. Yeah, going Jesus on. Christ. Really. What? No, but I mean, you know. You're taking I, a I, selfie? I'm taking a picture of the group. No, no, but yeah. I, anyway, so, and then, you know, but the thing is, it's always ladies' choice. I'm not a, I'm not aggressive like this. Well, she's not going to choose you. Well, how do you know? Yeah, she, and I, I need aggressive, Mike. you got to be yeah. aggressive. Oh, what do you mean? Like, Take, be a man. What do you mean? Say, yeah. I want to tell her what's going to happen. Bike. Tell me. The, the best night of your life is going to happen if you're with me. Believe me. <laughs> well, how, well explain what that I'm is. Have. Uh, I'm, I have a huge nut sack. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to put that? Oh, I hope, Where's I, that going to go? I, I, hope, I hope you like to gag a little bit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> She'll gag from you like? taking your shirt off. No, no, but you know, you know, no. It's it, I think you'll be quite impressed. With the rest of it's you know pretty good. I got a pretty good pair of machine, good machine in me. You know, have a turtleneck or not? Tur oh yes, it's I'm circumcised. I'm not like a step like an oldie or anything. Like that. <laughs> I have a huge nutsack. Where did that come from? On it's top of his cannoli cannon. <laughs> it's the truth. I'm not lying about it because you know it, it's. I'm proud you said of it. Your actually. cock is barely visible. But no, no, it's, it's, it's no, when, no, it's always ready to go because it's like the wind. My I wake up hot, ready to go. I love it. Like an egg resting in a nest? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, hairy? Are you hairy down there? I'm not. Well, I used to be General Grant. But as age went on, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, yeah, you know. I, I make sure I make sure the nutsack is cleaned every day. Are you chafed? Oh. <laughs> this sounds like 
a nightmare thing. Chelsea, you, Chelsea, you, I, honestly, I've never in my life heard a guy worse for women. Now imagine this in person where he's even better. No. I know. The, combined with looking at you, no. this is why this, you're going to get arrested. No, no. The bottom line is... I'm a total. I would even if you, like I said, I met up with you. I would ask permission to hold your hand. I really would. That's the kind of guy I am. And then rub it on your nutsack. No, no. And, and see how it goes. And like I said, it, you know. Can I hold your hand over all, your mouth? No, first it of all, makes it no, better. No, but, first of all, I've been, I'm not holding your hand over her eyes. No, but let me ask you. Let me ask you guys something. Sometimes women have sent me mixed signals too. <laughs> It's, it's you're not sure if it's rape or help police. No, no, no. I'm torn between whether she Chelsea wants to no or no, no, Mike. No means no. No, no, no. Morris Chelsea, cold. let me finish. Nothing mixed about this No, signal. no, no. Because let me tell you something, right? And tell me if I'm right or wrong Mike about this. Mike hears an implied comma in okay. no more. Go ahead, Mike. If I'm right or wrong about this. I, I was friends with this girl a while ago, right? It's already bullshit. We're just talking. <laughs> you lost the so I said, So I said, you know, I like chocolate. You know, I cake, chocolate cake, so she baked me a cake. <laughs> after we're talking so I'm like I'm in that's what I thought you know I'm gonna bang her probably after she baked me a cake because right? she made you a cake so then we're walking and I went to make a move and she goes what the hell do you think you're doing yeah <laughs> so I get a little obnoxious and I go well don't be Betty Crocker next time then bitch <laughs> Oh God! That wasn't oh the way. That God. wasn't the proper way to handle it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, was your nutsack out the whole time this was happening? Was your, oh, what God. was your move? What was your move? I, I went to Kesha. What do you, you think you're doing? Put the nutsack right on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Always, you know what? She wants a nutsack that good. Maybe you'll have a good time. Your, she move, your move was not even to eat the cake first. You no, I ate it. So she, <laughs> I thought she was going to be my cake. <laughs> but then oh, it was this really, nice cake, bitch. Here's my nut. But then it was this really <laughs> cute Italian girl I was friends with for once. I thought I was going to uh, get her, you know. I stay in a friend's one a while. Maybe that the avalanche of lies. <laughs> no, no. This girl, this girl I knew a long time ago. She was very cute. We got along well. She said to me, Mike, how about you come over to the house and I'll cook you dinner? Right? And, right. and I'm like... I'm in. I want to bang it. That's what I thought. It seems like all these girls think you need food. (laughs) No, no. So yeah, so we're supposed to, but we're supposed to have a dinner, right? So I called her a couple of times to thank her about the dinner before we had one. I think I screwed up like that, like leaving her a message like, "Yeah, that is yeah, that's easy." I realized I'm like, like, "Thanks, I can't wait to have the," you know. And I realized it was a bad thing. And then I called her back, and she goes. Well, dinner chance have been planes. We can meet up in Starbucks in Midtown where, you know, Din- dinner chance, the daytime with dinner a lot chance of people. have been planged? <laughs> yeah. She just said dinner chance have been planged. Yeah. Plans have been changed. Oh, that is funny. What'd she say, Starbucks? She goes, you know, she goes, I'd like to have dinner with you, but I think maybe we can meet in public like Starbucks. Yeah. Now, you know? <laughs> Witnesses. So nah. have you have you thought about changing your rap uh, with all this negative No, feedback? but she was the one who started it, though. So what am I supposed to do? I, so, well, you, you end it. Like back like the Fonz, really. <laughs> you end it. The chick started. You end it. That's what happens. <laughs> I know. And by negative feedback, we mean criminal charges. You realize yeah. that. You realize no, no, that, no, 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 because I'm, Guys, I can't wait to have tons of F.U. money one day and just... I really do. What is really that going like, to happen? Like, I think FU stands for Time fudge. Is running out. <laughs> no, it's never running Tons out. Tons of believe. fudge money. So, <laughs> you know, when it does happen, I'm going to be You're laughing. 54, I'm going like, to tell people to F all. I got a long list of people I'm going to tell to fuck off someday. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be just months away. While eating You're fudge. You're away from a stroke. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> and once it does happen, some people are going to be mighty sorry. I'm laughing at them. Pete Davidson is one. No, not Pete. No, no. No, no. I got a list of fucking ass wipes. I got to put it up. I have a Question, Chelsea. Uh, I got a lot of people oh, I hate on. Is Chelsea me. one of them? <laughs> no, no. I got a question, Chelsea. No, uh, <laughs> Sarah Lee? No, that she, bitch yeah, had it coming, am I right? No, Gino, Gino's life is fucked up oh, enough without, without going for him now, so I'll leave him out of this. How much money would uh, will Mike Machete need uh, for him to have sex with women? Four billion dollars. <laughs> Regular nah. casual sex with women. You need How to show up at their throw? house in the space shuttle. Uh. <laughs> Just Thanks, a little thing you're I gonna need a lot. Not, not, 1986 is gone, Gino. So let's get rid of space shuttle. Would he have to offer a dental program? <laughs> <laughs> yes, at least benefit. So well, he would have to basically change the lifestyle. He would have to be able to change a woman's lifestyle to casual yeah, sex. Yeah, for with sure. Well, they got to change. They got to put up, put out every night. Then, if them, that's going to happen. Well, her lifestyle is going to change. You'll need rabies. <laughs> no, no, because they're, they're, they're going to have to fuck the living life out of me if I'm going to put that kind of money out. <laughs> fuck oh, the living God, life. Literally, hopefully. I think a stick of butter could do no, that. No, I mean, they better, right no, they better be. They, oh, God. Gina, no, no, body in the day. They better, be, they better, be, they better be blowing me around the clock for that kind of money. Uh, blowing you near a clock? <laughs> blowing me around the clock for that kind of money. <laughs> Why? Because I always want to see what time it is. <laughs> like a and grandfather it, clock. And they better take it in the butt every night, too. Jesus Christ, in the 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buying a ball. Oh, that's the ball. Oh, every really? night. Every the minute that pitch down, bends for the slope, she's going to get it in the butt that's every night. Aggressive. Believe me. Why? You said you weren't aggressive. I am aggressive when I need How to much be. money would it be just to have a romantic evening? $8,000. <laughs> right. Do you have any money saved? Yeah. I'm a credit I'm, I'm a credit card. Guy, oh, that's really. a bad. You must have money saved. So, I, I'm, I'm How would he have money saved? Anything? He, of your show. He was in direct TV. I don't, I don't know if saved. you know this but already. like a minute. <laughs> a hot minute, babes. <laughs> so, so you said you would take Chelsea out with $8,000. No, not eight grand. I'm only kidding. You know, what, impress you her. Impress her with direct TV stuff. Do a little weather off the top of your head. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, well, it seems very hot where we are right now. Because... <laughs> We have a sausage party here with all these guys. If you know, no, I mean, but, but, but no. To say what, what's the weather like? <laughs> what Chelsea is, it's probably nice and cool and relaxed, and you know, it's wonderful, and you know, and palm trees are all over the place, and she's chilling out with a martini and some some purple Kush, maybe I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> purple Kush. Ah, nice. It's called Kush so now. You know, called oh, Kush. I don't know what the hell. It's, I haven't smoked in I'm a long in time. I'm in Boston, Mike. Yeah, she's she's uh, knee she deep in oh, snow. No, but Boston is cool because people up there are honest. You guys, you know. Then you don't, take, don't take any shit from now, me. In all honesty, Chelsea, are you creeped out by Chris Cotton hitting on you on Twitter? I don't hit on anybody. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. He doesn't, hit, he doesn't hit on me. It seems like it. I hit on him. It but seems he very creepy. Hit on me. I apologize for all these creeps I'm letting into your life. There's a lot of. Them. <laughs> I try hitting on you, Hardy, and you don't listen. Well, I, I like to. See, I told you, there's ton, every, every woman in America wants you to do you. Because Boston Chelsea wants to do me? No. <laughs> Fuck no, off. no, because you know why he don't realize it, Chelsea. He has the he's the king of the castle. He could have you. I could have tons of. He could have anybody he wants. Well, don't talk about Chelsea like that. I just no. A, I'm just saying a decision for her. I mean, I, I, we we got to hook you up with Giada. We'll make it happen, baby. That's Watch my goal. Let like, me try my new pickup line. I got a huge nut sack. <laughs> and I want to play with your tits. <laughs> That's the Mike Buschetti school of picking up women. My God, this experiment went horribly wrong. The Mike yeah, Machetti School of Rocking Your World. No, but the, yeah, but unfortunately, some woman that would respond, and I got a huge nutsack. Maybe yeah, some hookers. Uh, Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> hookers. <laughs> right. Urologists. Chels, they would respond to that. Chels, thanks, thanks for Chelsea. call. How do we follow you on Twitter, Chels? Well, it was nice talking to her. Chels? She might have lost her. All right. Well, I wanted to give her out a Twitter address, but anyway. I think it's Chelsea. I just added her. We sent her that picture. Uh, Chelsea, I love big balls. <laughs> Chelsea, it's, rock my tits. Chelsea, Mike, that couldn't Chelsea have worked worse. Mama. No, but the thing is, yeah, you got to beat me. It's, everybody's used to social media now. You got to meet woman in person. I couldn't, have went, that couldn't have went worse. In person, I'm another guy. That's yes, Dan. Dan uh, knows I'm a charming guy in person. I mean, at, <laughs> at Mama Chelsea 08. That couldn't have went Chelsea. worse. That was now, hilarious. I that had more fun than anyone here. Couldn't have went worse. Well, who knows? Women are weirdos to begin with. You know what I mean? Sounds like they're normal. <laughs> no, they're very, they like to win. They, they're very creatures of emotional habit. That was emotional. Yeah, no kidding. We all are emotional. Yeah, no, more than them. Creatures of emotional no, habit. No, women even more so. Mike, where can we see you next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Actually, in Altoona, Pennsylvania at the end of this month. I've never been there really before. You're going to eat some tuna in Pennsylvania? I'm, I'm, you know, you sh I should have, Mike, what size shoe do you have? You keep kicking me. They're, what are you, 12? At 11 white. He's wearing clogs. No, I'm wearing, I got new balance. Should have sold that to Chelsea. You Chelsea, have told you got Chelsea if wide. you're still listening to the podcast, 11 wide, call back. Don't blow yeah, this, Chelsea. <laughs> tuna can. Blow this, not this. Tuna can. What, uh, now, what's your plugs? Okay, well, I'm going to be on Altoona, Pennsylvania. The end of uh, to be on Altoona and no, indirect. No, I'll be. I'll be. The last Saturday in. Uh, I have a proposition the last for you. Saturday, you should Gene. learn prepositions. <laughs> Dan, do me a favor. Are you good at garroting people? You're right over there to get Yeah, you're good at garroting? Why, do, why don't we all get in a time machine, go to the uh, mid-1800s, and you can garret me? Gene, or do garret. you mean Brad Garrett? I'll, I'll a guy love, that will Gene, never call Gene, you with your Dan, language Dan, I love you skills. for life. You garret him? And I'll just, like, Would you garret me? I don't Google know. garret and then do it. Uh, okay, what do you call it? Uh, I'll, be not I'll fend him off with my bayonet, Mike. <laughs> Gino is cooking with heat today. I, I'm going be honest with you. Gino, Gino always, always cooks Gino with heat. Fucking pay attention. I don't know. Go ahead, Mike. What are your points? Okay, I'll be... The last Saturday in April, I'll be in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Then doing what? I'll be doing comedy out there. Go oh, to my okay. Facebook page. Then uh, May 7th, I'm doing a show at the pit called Mike Boschetti. <laughs> <laughs> like creative you got with the name. No, it's it's going to be great. The well, name then, of the show is Mike Boschetti? No, it's, it's, it's going to be great at the pit. What's the name of the show? It's going to be great? It's going to be great, yeah, May 7th. The name of the show is It's Going to Be Great? Yeah. 
Then I just got done. I got an, uh, Ryan Fried Tarot Bang. I is just that, is that a one? I, got, I just did an article with Alex Sok and Colin Quinn's up next. Thought I interviewed him recently. Wait, wow, wait. that's pretty good. Wait, wait, what's what's the? It's going to be great. A one man show? No, just you know me. I'll, I'm just well, a mixture a one man. of stuff. Well, I'm five guys actually instead of one. But then, uh, what do you call it? Then uh, I'm in, uh, on Louie, I think the first episode. April that's 9th. awesome. That's great. That is good stuff. Yeah, I've been. I've seen Mike pop up in a lot of things where you don't expect him to, like on in like, movies and stuff. And he's great. This is me being dead uh, yeah. honest. And a lineup. <laughs> he nails that too. A but he, he was some you. like short I saw too, and I'm like, he's awesome. It's just. I don't Mike, know. Now how, do you, how did you become so good at acting? I, I've I been know. tortured a lot in life. Yeah. Been honest, <laughs> do you use that pain? Because I and everything you do, you nail. Did you use that pain? Yep, absolutely. I, I had pain since the minute I came out of the crib. I think <laughs> <laughs> about an hour ago. Uh, no, I think about but you, I, everything I've seen you in, and this is me being dead serious. Like I'm surprised you don't get more like, and I I, I don't want to be kind of bit rolls, but you every time you're in it, you are Thanks. very. Gripping. I work hard, but the thing is, that they think I'm a specific type, which they keep saying, but who which knows? Which is what. I can what's, play what's specific anybody from mafia guys to goofy guys. I think what you're about, better at quirky guys. What about goofy mafia guys? Uh, oh, like analyze this, yeah, like that kind How of. How about cartoon I, voices? How come you don't do those? I, I'm too New York. I sound like James Cagney. You don't. Learned. You're not too New York. You're great at cartoon voices. You recently did a movie with uh, Robert De Niro. I know. I played it. Did he? A, a and he steals Jewish the guy. What's the? That might have been what I saw. He That's what Jimmy Palumbo told me. Jimmy told me. Love Jimmy Palumbo. Jimmy's, Jimmy's a guy that shoot beat all the movies. All I mean, Jimmy's what's wrong with this? Stuff. Stuff. No, great. we're talking about you. No, but I I seen his acting where I read. I'd never seen him, and then I was like, what the hell is this? This guy should be like Palumbo was in eighty uh, things. Was in uh, what? That's call right. It? He was he was the FBI agent. He got into the Arrow. Family. No, not the family. He was in the family, but the show you're about to do, the comedian. Why can't I think of his name all of a sudden? Jim Gaffigan. He was in Gaffigan's show with Kirsten. But Jimmy's 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 great at what he does. I love Jimmy. He used to do Pharrell with him a lot. So, Greg, where can we find you? Tomorrow night, I have two shows. South Jersey Lefty's Tavern with with the amazing, incredible Angel Salazar. Check it out. Yeah, Chi-Chi from Scarface. You're driving him, aren't you? Oh yeah. You know what, man? I always I gotta pick them up. Everyone Break has to. Everyone has to pick up Angel. Man, <laughs> every, yeah, no. In this case, everybody has to pick up Angel. Yeah. Check it all out. right, cool. And uh, Gino, where can we find you? Oh, uh, who knows? All over. Uh, I'll be I'll be in uh, in Milton, Connecticut this week. And just go to GinoBisconti.com. Watch the videos. Check out my dates. Gino Bisconti. I'll be at LOL Comedy Club all week. Oh, Kill that's me. Good. What about Kill that, Mike? Me. You should go get a gig there. It's I don't know. LOL, 43rd, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. They don't know you. Please now's don't a, come to that show. Now's the time to get a gig. <laughs> I, want, I, I want to go back to the stand. I love those guys. But they never got Last time, Everybody you blew off the stand, I didn't he? blow them off. I went, I went there. There's a whole clip online, people, of Michael talking about how he blew off the stand. I didn't blow them off. You can't even stand. <laughs> no, the last time I was there was. I'm gonna go to the lean. <laughs> let, let Chris, let Chris plug his gigs. Go right. Junior, stop fighting. Edcon two one five, the Twitter, Instagram, everything. All right, um, SimCityComedy dot com, Sim City Comedy Podcast, and uh, what, what, what are you cussing? Uh, April eleventh. Thank y'all for everybody who's getting the tickets. Keep getting tickets. Thank you for all the retweets and everything. Oh, for the, the benefit, uh, yeah. For the awesome. MS benefit at Helium Comedy Club. Me, Artie Lang, Joe Matteris, H Foley. Uh, thank you, though. Keep plugging away, and um. And I also I'll be at Helium this weekend. Also, just hanging out, cool. uh, working with Dion, Dion Cole. So. Nice. And uh, and that's it. Totally, you have no other uh, spots, Machete. <laughs> oh, actually, I'll, I'm going to say I'm, oh, I'm, I'm opening gym tomorrow. I can't wait tomorrow morning. You going to the gym? No, opium gym tomorrow morning. He's gonna pee in the gym. Opium gym. Opium gym. Oh, I thought you were going to the gym. No, that, I just I work. What are you doing home. on that show? Making fun of you. No, you're not. I'll <laughs> tell you who they're making fun of someday, but you wouldn't understand. <laughs> no, Gina, my name is... What's that say? Special Olympics on your shirt, Gina? Yes, it does. Yeah, it says saying, Special Olympics. Are you saying on that show they make fun of Mike and he doesn't realize? No. Yes. No. Yes, I am. No, because I am. Mike, Mike, I am. Are they making fun of Mike? No, they're not. I am. No, because put it this way. Let me clear something Mike, that's straight. not right. And I'm not bashing them, because let me tell you, Jim Morton wrote the smartest article I ever heard talking about the Trevor Noah thing, where in a nutshell, and then we'll get back to this. He said, it's not a line you cross anymore, and I think this is brilliant. It's like comics stand in the middle of a circle, and whatever they say, there's always someone on one angle of them that comes and we're like, I was offended. Okay, and I think uh, that's brilliant. Okay, Paul Krug. No, okay, he, now let me get back no, to this. No, but but right, Jim though. is making fun of you every time one, you step no, in that no, studio. No, one person. They're making fun of you. They no, 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 one they're person. They're making fun of you. Almost meant ended married with children years ago. That has nothing to do with what the fact that they're making about? fun of you. No, it could take one <laughs> person. Make sure you bring this up on the show tomorrow <laughs> to make it easier for them Gene, to make fun of you. you I'll put it this about? way. What are you talking about? about married with children? I love one woman from like the Midwest or further in the country, I don't remember where she's from, but she 
Bro, no, that's bad. Gonna, but that's got nothing to do with you getting. And you do fun understand of. if I did not respect you, Mike, I would wait till you left and I'd say to Artie, you know, they're making fun of him on the show. But because we're buddies, what am I saying to your face no, right now? What way do they make fun of him? They, they let him talk. I oh. swear to God. I swear to God. That's you, what they do. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, guys, funnier. they're using oh, your strength funny. against you. Oh, right? What do you say well, on the show? Whatever, you know, you whatever they ask me, like whatever you guys ask me. You know what I mean? Do you feel you're being goofed on? I mean, everybody gets goofed on one way or another, but I've been goofed on, but I goof on people too, so what the hell? All right. Okay. No, but I wanted to do a show one day, right? On HBO Showtime. We're out of time. Look, I want <laughs> you to do this. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Well, we goof on like people like there was like, like, you know, like on remote sitcoms years ago, like, right. they, I don't know what, I, like goof on them. There's got to be people worse remote, off than me out remote there. Remote sitcoms. Remote. <laughs> What? Like an like an episode of Charles in Charge, you know? What I'm yeah. Saying? What about it? What about it? Yeah, Opie and Jim, we're stealing all this gold from your show tomorrow. Oh, uh, 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 all right. What about it? No, like you know, like I, I just got ticked off because Eddie Monster was a fucking idiot with me on Monster. What, what happened just now? We were on, we were on something. <laughs> <that they used. laughs> like Eddie Monster come in. Uh, well, what's fuck? his name? Butch Patrick. Eddie Monster. Yeah, Butch Patrick. Is say real that name. Eddie Monster. Well, yeah, M Monster like cheese. Yeah. I like cheese. <laughs> I like you know, cheese. What's your good. favorite type of That's cheese? You I like goat like, cheese. You smell like gorgonzola. Yeah, yeah. Gorgonzola with Check a... Chicken crystal, like goat, or, or provolone, or just sometimes like... Uh, it depends on the, on the cheese, but I do Flippin', love cheese. thank you. <laughs> Falato, thank you. Mikey, anywhere else? Uh, no, not that I know of. <laughs> no, other, no other plugs. <laughs> yes, 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 actually. Can oh, I, yeah, I got it in my cell Will oh, Sandy no. Marks be on the show with you tomorrow? No, I hope to God not. Why? Just Sandy Mark. That's another one. They team up and they just oh. kind of let them talk. And oh, you can't so do, I don't know. Do Sandy the line Mark. again. You can't. Do I don't know who Sandy Mark. <laughs> you can't do that. I know him a long time. He's a good guy. Really. Oh no, yeah. not Sandy Marks. The, the chick. Who's the crazy old? Oh, oh. Not I, Sandy Marks. Sandy Marks is a great comedian. God forgive oh. me. Oh, uh, the lady cowboy chick now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not Sandy Marks. He's a brilliant. Sandy uh, Kane. Sandy, Sandy Kane, Kane. Not Sandy Marks. She bought it. Uh, Will Sandy Kane be? On I don't know who's on there. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a casting director. If I were a gambling man, Artie, and it turns out I am, yeah. I would bet Sandy Kane will be on tomorrow Who's Sandy too. Kane? She's some crazy old stripper chick. Okay. No, but uh, like uh, I'm, one I'm time actually was on doing with a Mike. show. Crazy. My friend Irene Bremis, right? About fitness and comedy. All right, let's uh, let's end on that. <laughs> <laughs> fitness and comedy, I don't think those really go together. 